Ivan Drago's a piece of shit. That's movies. <laughs> Ivan Drago, the, the Ivan Drago's a piece of shit. He's a fucking slime ball. <laughs> Nobody likes him. And then the motherfucker was talking shit after Rocky beat his ass. Crying with oh, tears of blood down his face after yeah, so Rocky so, gave it to he him. He killed Apollo Creed. He went back to Russia unrespected. He's, he's he went the back reason, to. He's the reason why we have Creed. Can I, can I say this? Can I say this? Go ahead. All he did was <laughs> took an amazing boxer from and, him and a little bit out of his prime and, and went back to Russia as a losing murderer. <laughs> that motherfucker <laughs> killed a great fucking fighter, <laughs> lost to fucking Rocky's little ass, and went back as a murderer. <laughs> had he won, had he won, and then Rocky beat him in front of his own people. But had he won, then he would have been praised and fucking thrown up and fucking celebrated for days to come. Listen. But he went back home a know, fucking who, penniless, who, who bitchless murderer. Uh, call yeah. me bad. I was watching Avengers this morning. That the last one, that end game, yeah. when they had to fight Vados. And I will say this. That was probably the best fighting scene I ever seen in a movie. That was the shit. Yeah. I mean, the way they all clicked together and like made a Voltron. Right. And then the women came through whooping ass. And right. That was dope. That was dope. Can y'all tell me a doper fighting scene in a movie? That, that one's my shit though. Like yeah. just, just all of it. Like even when Tony Tony dies and shit, it's right. like damn, like. That that was a hurt piece. I ain't gonna lie, cause I rock with I rock with MCU and all of that shit, man. When Tony died, I was like, God damn, right. that's a rap, and it is a rap, cause the shit's trash now. But what are you talking about the uh, the whole Marvel's uh, yeah, catalog MCU. moving forward? Yeah, yeah that, it's, it's been trash. Okay. That shit, Tony was the shit, and he recreated his whole career. He did I mean? off of being Tony Stark. Right, right. And that shit sparked something, and it, it just took off from there. Everybody man. forgot he used to smoke crack. Right? Oh man, and sell himself and <laughs> right. shit. You know what I mean? Sell himself short and on the market and shit. Like Does Robert, anybody want a celebrity? Robert Downey Jr. was wilding back in the day, man. Like. Right. After he he uh, landed that damn Tony Stark's role, his shit took off. That man. motherfucker went back to being an asshole again. He's talking about I do not sign autographs. <laughs> Listen, he deserves it because that motherfucker took off. Yes, he did. He had the '80s by storm. He had the '80s in the chokehold. Yeah. Then that motherfucker went on like that Daryl Strawberry uh, <laughs> <laughs> bender. And then like, like Charlie Sheen and shit. Oh man, they had a fucking awesome fucking six and a half months. Like them type of motherfuckers right. had that type of cheese to make that shit the party go make the man, party go on. Keep the party going for days. Right. But yeah, like 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 that shit was my shit. Um fight scenes. Uh I don't know, like that one. Um, I mean, you can put any category in there. I'm talking right. about boxing, right? Just actual fights. Well, of scenes. course, Rocky. Right. You got any of the Rock? Not any of them, but all of the early Rockies, like Rocky versus Apollo, was the shit. What yeah. about the uh, fourth one when he fought the Russian? Of course, Mr. T. Yeah, both of the Mr. T fights. Tommy Gunn. That was a good one too. I mean, like it wasn't up there with the other ones, but like because it wasn't in the ring or whatever. What about the one when Rocky was like sixty three? No, fuck <laughs> all of that. You talking about the uh, one he was fighting Tarver? Yeah, when he just used his regular name, Rocky Balboa. Right, and, and Tarver was never the same again after that movie. <laughs> like he lost like real points in real life. Right. Like he beat Roy Jones, and then after that movie, he fell completely the fuck off. Right, man, like. He was subject to the curse of the Balboa uh, effect. <laughs> right. Rocky was like, now you, now, hey, hey, Mick, now you know once this guy goes back into the real world, he's never going to be the same. Mm -hmm. He had like a little jar of mixed ashes and shit. <laughs> he was like, God damn it, Rocky. He was talking <laughs> out of that jar and shit. God damn it, Rocky, worry about your own self. Now you know, Mick. I mean, that, that guy, he's, he's not, in the real world I'm talking about, he's not going to be the same. Right at all. But a couple of them, another couple uh, is, um, you ever see IP Man or It Man mm. with Donnie Yen? Those is my shit. That's what I was going to go. When he fought Mike Tyson. Yeah. But it, that was like, I think that was four or three. He got that was a, sick. Huh? That was sick. 
Yeah, that shit was dope, man. That was real he shit. Was punching niggas in the chest all yeah. fucking fast. But yeah, what what about you? Wax, what you thinking? I, I was gonna go with Ip Man. Yeah, like he when whenever he ran through that whole dojo, right? And, yeah, and it was Cuzzo that showed me that shit. He was like, you know, you know, Cuzzo was up on his goddamn karate, his kung fu kick. Right. Yeah, man, he showed me that shit. I was like, this is insane. Right, you know what I mean? Or I could I could also say like maybe um, what's old boy Tony Ja? Like yeah. with the uh, the protector and right. whatever other movies he was in, that that was kind of dope. Then there's always uh, Enter the Dragon. I was yeah. just about to say our you boy Bruce. Classic. Yeah, that's a classic, right? Yeah, there. Bruce Lee was him. Right. I wish they would have let him fight um, Bolo. Who Bruce Lee? Oh, yeah, Bolo should he should have fought Bolo. Bolo was my dude. <laughs> Man, I, I don't know, man. I, I wasn't feeling Bolo growing up, man. Bolo was a Bolo was the motherfucker off Bloodsport. Those yeah. hair with those eyes yeah. and shit. And I wasn't. Well, imagine, if old, imagine if you owe. Imagine if you owe Bolo like a thousand dollars. Oh, shit. he's gonna take it out of your ass. Of your spine. Like, yeah, spine Bolo cord. was the biggest Asian dude I've ever seen in yeah. my life at the time. Right. You know what I mean? Like that motherfucker was not playing no games. That motherfucker was on Asian royals. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It was the best roids money can buy. <laughs> Fuck that. Asian roids. For all y'all that don't know Bolo, go look up Bloodsport with uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme in it. He's the guy fighting Jean-Claude. And it was Bolo Yang. That right. motherfucker is scary. Then they had they had that goofy-ass white dude beat him. Mm-mm. Ogre fight. <laughs> no, and uh, I'm talking about in, in uh, uh, Enter the Dragon. Yeah. Okay. Cause I was about to say in that movie Ogre fought him. That yeah, Ogre yeah. lost his life. Yeah, that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, that nigga held his shit up. I was like, oh. I was like, oh. Shout he out to Ogre up. Shout out to Ogre. Ogre up, man. Like, listen, Ogre lost his life. Ogre went from fucking saying nerds to fighting Cat Bolo and fucking getting fit. Like Bolo wins fatality. Like. Fuck it, he lost his life. Yeah, he did. He was floating after that shit. Unreal, man. And then, like, you didn't see Ogre in too much shit after Bolo he killed fucking... Him. He killed him for real. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they had his funeral on the set and shit. <laughs> on the set. Hell yeah. He killed Bolo. Bolo killed Ogre for real. That motherfucker, Bolo, was a bad motherfucker, man. I wouldn't have crossed that motherfucker. Well, that, let me ask you this, though. Let me ask both of y'all. Why, why did they put, uh... Like, why do you think... Um, the films always put like uh, Chuck Norris as like the baddest dude on the planet, though. Dude, you want to go first? Because I mean, I got a couple ideas on why. I don't know. Go ahead. My idea is, is that they had to the brand like their American uh, hero. Right. Okay. So right. Chuck Norris fit the bill. Right. That yeah. motherfucker he, was. I mean, he, he fit the bill, but like. He, he was, was a tough motherfucker. He was back a real, real karate champion too. Yeah, and he fought with Bruce Lee. Right. So as an American, we want our hero too, because you know, over in Asia, or I don't want to say keep saying Asia, but like China, over in China, Bruce Lee was him. That dude. Right. Mama, yeah. there go that man again. Mm -hmm. He right. was the baddest man on the planet. So America wanted their version of that. So that's so, why Chuck Norris was even created. So you think? Chuck Norris was like the American version, version of, of Bruce Lee. Okay. Correct. They was trying to make him that, but there was no fucking way that he was even in the same category. And Chuck knows it. <laughs> Chuck knew that. Listen, Chuck Norris was a bad dude. Like, him and Charles he, he Bronson definitely was. Charles Bronson was like he had like beady eyes. He scared the okay. shit out of me as, as a young dude. Like, I'm glad you brought that up, Wax, because I need two. Okay, three. Three heavy hitters. If you was going to create a fucking, like, somebody was fucking with you and your peoples, I need three heavy hitters from the 80s that you would that you would bring. From okay. the 80s? Okay. Yeah. I'm, okay. I got, I'm getting Bolo. Okay. Uh, Mr. T. Okay. And probably Arnold Schwarzenegger. Are we, are we going, like, top notch guys? Yeah. I got, I'll take Arnold. <clears throat> Go ahead, Wax. Because Arnold's going to be like, get the bitch I'm top probably going Bruce Lee. Carl Weathers. Mm -hmm. Action Jackson. Yeah, Action Jackson. I don't think he was talking about Carl Winslow and shit. No, nah, like, he was in Chicago. Harriet. Like, Harriet. Damn it. No, nah. like, Harriet. <laughs> Harriet. Um, 
Who's the third one? Let me think. Let me, oh, old boy from fucking Rocky Four. The the Russian. The Russian. I'm taking. I'm Drago. taking. Uh, what's his name? Ivan Drago. Bingo. I'm glad y'all motherfuckers went that way because you motherfuckers plan on fighting. Yeah, this it's gonna be a fight. I got one badass I'm bringing with me. Who? And that's just one badass. I'm bringing Steven Seagal with that fake ass fucking karate. <laughs> but listen, listen. He gonna, he gonna get you fucked up. He's man. gonna be the guy that's coming through the door. He's gonna be the first one leading off with all that shit that he does. <laughs> and then the second two motherfuckers I'm bringing in are the shooters. <laughs> He's the decoy that right. makes y'all think that we're actually fist fighting. Right. Because right after he comes through, Charles Bronson and Clint Eastwood is right there. <laughs> them motherfuckers are coming with them damn shits in hand. Them damn sticks. <laughs> Time. You Charles, know what I'm saying? Charles Bronson would have got beat up. Too. Okay, yeah. first of all, have you ever seen Death Wish? Yes. All those booby traps, that's where Home Alone got that shit from. I'm, I'm when just the saying. motherfucking boar came but, up on Death Wish 4 and knocked that dude's teeth out. Right. And he had teeth in the board. <laughs> Chuck, no, Chuck, Charles Bronson was a bad motherfucker. Let's face it. Uh, and that motherfucker ran with the 38 up in the air. Listen. Anytime you have somebody going through the crowd and shit with that 38 special up in the air, he wants your ass. I, I ain't trying to shit on Charles then, Bronson. Then but. listen, Clint Eastwood? Right. Dirty, dirty Harry version? What? You're probably getting the old the old version. No. Uh, See, y'all the, old the, mad, the old <laughs> man at the uh, at the world version <laughs> and shit. That's what I'm saying. Y'all want me to have the 96 year old fucking Clint Eastwood and shit. Man. <laughs> Charles Bronson would have got listen. beat up. I'm bringing Charles Bronson to the fight, the Death Wish 4, that one only. Yeah. And listen, and, and for y'all being such smart asses talking about <laughs> Steven Seagal being my first pick, That's I'm bringing that little motherfucker that played on Penitentiary 3 with two sweets. Well, how many, how many I get guys, a fucking honorary. You're going to need to. Listen, you're that, need, like, you remember the motherfucker picks. that trained two sweet in Penitentiary 3? That little motherfucker, that little black motherfucker, he was like four foot two. Mm-mm. Dude, I don't, I don't remember. I didn't seen that movie. Okay, but you're listen. gonna need him because Charles Bronson and uh, what's his name? Them, Stop. them bitches is gonna come in with pistols blazing and shit. That uh, big ass pistol, he got one shot with that shit. And he's gonna blow his talk, arm off. And he's gonna, right? gonna be talking. <laughs> and he's gonna be talking like you punks wanna play rough. First of all, he was a fucking cowboy, Clint Eastwood. Secondly. He was the only motherfucker that could have a conversation in this voice. You motherfuckers want to play rough. Right. And they knew he wasn't playing around. Well, Mr. T going like, hey, you. Hey, you, boy. And that motherfucker going to be like, hey, you woman? Hey, you where, you wo woman? where your woman at? Hey, woman. So I can tap her ass. <laughs> He's like, you want to fuck my woman? Here's my woman. It's a 38 yeah. special. Yeah. Charles Bronson and Clint Eastwood would have got you fucked up. All right. <laughs> I'm telling you. Them is my shooters. They would have got you Why fucked up. Why y'all fucking around? Them is my shooters. I'm telling you. They're, they're, they were Fuck great a shooter, actors. They were my own shooters. They were, they were great actors. They were believable, but and they would have pilled your nah, cat back. No. Especially with that motherfucking uh, 357. Man. The most powerful handgun around. <laughs> Y'all had fighters. That kind of efficient shit. That That's what I'm saying. Like, he'd have been missing been. shots. Yeah. Haters. haters. He'd have got beat up, Phil, and I would have <laughs> felt bad for you. Like, <laughs> I would have sent my guys in. Like, help him out. Please. Because that shit is terrible, man. Listen, I'm sending, I'm bringing Clint Eastwood, Charles Bronson, <laughs> motherfucking Steven Seagal with that fake karate and shit that he did. Bolo would have broke Steven Seagal's neck. That's the five That's the beauty five. of it. Cause as soon as he dropped him from fucking breaking his neck, them motherfuckers would have dumped thirty-eight bullets into hey, him. Who said uh Arnold Schwarzenegger? Me. Okay. See, like with that, at least you know he's strong. Like, but they're I'm fighting. Saying, no, I'm not I, talking. I, I got commando Arnold. That's like, what we I'm got saying. Arsenal at least you know they, they're no, fighting. No. If you're going to get me 96 year old Arnold, you got <laughs> twins Arnold. <laughs> with Danny Andrew. DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> you got the softened up Arnold that like started a family after that movie. Wa Wax got Happy Gilmore and uh, Carl Weathers, but he got chubs. <laughs> what he I got Arnold. action. I got action. Jackson. That, that nigga that. Listen, I'm not even going to go into it. You definitely got already Andy know. Gil War fucking uh, <laughs> fuck all that. Fuck all that. Yeah. Chubbs. Fuck yeah. all that. I'm Chubbs talking about, Peterson. I'm talking about uh, Carl Weathers and like 
the 80s. Yeah. Ain't that what we said? Yes, the we 80s. did. But y'all motherfuckers want to get me. Y'all want to get me 96 year old Clint Eastwood. And they were wrecking shop. And then here's the thing Ivan Drago was a bitch. Rocky figure, fucked him up. It's a movie, Phil. What matter? It's, it does matter. We're going off the statistics. Six, six four. And, we'll whoop and, your he, and he hit like a bitch. Yeah, right. He, he hit, hit like a bitch. He killed. He killed my other dude. Who? Call yes, he did. Wife. So now you got, you got the go- all right. you got internal strife on this. I do. I mean, but like if- <laughs> he got the ghost of Carl Weathers. <laughs> He's not even the real Carl Weathers. He got the ghost of Carl Weathers. Right. And and I Jeff Peters. <laughs> you, you guys. Are- He's like. Ooh. <laughs> But I Man. guarantee, I guarantee, he would destroy motherfucking uh, Clint Eastwood. You're crazy. He would punch. Them Clint motherfuckers is coming in gun blazing. Listen, he would punch Clint Eastwood in the face and make him quit. Okay. And he would bow. Uh, what? Who's the other dude you said? Who, me? Yeah. I said Clint Eastwood, and Charles Bronson. He would bow him the fuck out. What right. about that little tiny motherfucker right, from Penitentiary 3? I can't, I don't know who you're talking about. Well, when y'all motherfuckers see the cross reference, like right down there underneath the fucking click, subscribe, and like. Nah, I was going to say, so we get three then. Yeah. Oh, and you God. already spent your money. Who did I say? You got said, the ghost of Carl Weathers. You got four, Illy. So we get somebody too. We get no. A, yeah, no. I mean, four including that yourself. Is three foot, including three foot yourself. Two. That's well, what I, you well, I want tattoo. Okay. Though. Oh fuck! I got tattoo. He, he's gonna be. He gets tattoo off of fucking the, uh, <laughs> of the Fantasy Island, like and the plane, the plane, plane bus. bus. Yeah, that's the yeah. coolest little person he's ever. Be, he's warning my my niggas when y'all niggas. Is that's coming. fucked up. So we that's we're gonna be, we're gonna and he wore that off. little vest. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Who, who's, hey, your little, who's your little guy? Why give you give us a little yeah, guy? He, got, listen, he can't mini be me? over four foot. Mini mini mini. Me? <laughs> he's a bitch. I got and he's a turncoat. I mean, that's only my my little person. He's gonna listen. So, he's a turncoat. That, that's only my little person. I'm going with mini. I got because, the thoroughest because, little person because he's fucking evil. He's dark he is evil. evil. Yeah. He is, he's evil as fuck. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Evil. But let's go back to your little motherfucker. That motherfucker. Yeah, okay, yours. first of all. Let me, let me. I need y'all to see the little motherfucker off Penitentiary 3. I don't know who that He was is. in there training too sweet. He was like, too sweet. Y'all know him because he was the only little motherfucker that was opposite of that one on Friday. Nah, you know who? No, I don't want tattoo no more. I want the No, little, you got tattoo. No, I want the little nigga on, on Quaid's uh, that was like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? On Rico. Like, <laughs> Well, if we do hey, that, dude, cool. dude's gonna get him little, little fucking revolvers. And I'm gonna get him attached that, to my side. Yeah, if we doing that, I want Master Blaster. <laughs> I want that little dude that was with the. the never mind. I am. All right, fuck y'all. If we my, go in there, I get off. <laughs> Willie! Huh? Whoa! I get off. Fuck y'all, motherfuckers. Alf was him. <laughs> oh, you talking about him? Yes. Him from Penis. Penitentiary 3. Yes, that little motherfucker was scary, man. Straight up and down, man. And he was a brawler. Penitentiary 3. Is yes. How do you yes, know him. about that movie? Because I had a lot of time on my oh hands. My God. I wasn't doing homework. I've never seen this shit. Shit, man. I was up watching TV. Who starred in Penitentiary 3? The motherfucker too sweet. It was a bunch of no-name 80s right. black actors and shit. It was B-less actors, but that shit was jive right on time. Look, and look dude. Yeah, I see Penit- it. yeah, like this nigga. I don't even know. I've never even seen this dude before. He looks like he stinks. <laughs> he looks like he stinks. Like <laughs> he's all buff. The movie's called Penitentiary Three, Wax. Listen, he's I'm gonna there. stay. That he motherfucker was like, back in the eighties jail. This wasn't none of that like new comfortable shit. And he has bed bugs. That <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> smelled like ten pounds of shark ass. <laughs> yes, he stunk. And he was a scrapper. So just imagine fighting that little motherfucker in the in the. In, that that's the, the that's star? too sweet yeah that's Leon too sweet Isaac Kennedy look that up y'all I've never even heard of this nigga before I know <laughs> all y'all old OGs know about Penitentiary Three what and happened I got in... that little motherfucker on my squad none of them was in Penitentiary One or Two I don't know about that I didn't see those <laughs> I just seen the third and started jump right in <laughs> fucking right and Mister Mister T was in that shit he was over there being a bitch compared oh, to that little shit. motherfucker. 
Then here's the thing. Did you say Mr. T? Mm-hmm. First of all, Mr. T was a badass. But you don't have that, Mr. T. Yes, I do. Yes, you have guys. today's Mr. Right. T. <laughs> you have broke. Six year old. <laughs> you right. have broke, Mr. T. With, <laughs> this is all costume jewelry on. They repoed that jewelry like yeah. 25 years no, ago. Don't no hate on my Mr. T. And that Mr. T, you got to be on, uh, in all type of commercials now that like he knows that, that needs medical attention. You got Columbo. <laughs> That's your guy. Listen, the only thing that you did that justified anything was fucking pick tattoo. Tattoo was him. <laughs> Ta now, now listen. I want to break tattoo down just a taste. First of all, I didn't know they was making suits that size, <laughs> and I'm talking about full grown three piece suits. It was custom. And tattoo <laughs> had that little motherfucker looking clean as the bell of health. And then his line in the show was, "Boss, they playing, they playing." That was the only line. I mean, he had some little shit, and he was dancing and shit. Listen. But do you know how much ass tattoo had to get back in the day wearing them silk ass? He looked like a bite-sized Tony Montana with that suit on. That motherfucker was this big. <laughs> he gonna be putting, the, getting me the drop on. No, to, he, he's gonna get shot first. He's gonna be running like ass. <laughs> he's, right. he's, he's, he's gonna let us know when y'all coming. He's, so. gonna catch a, he's gonna catch a bullet in that white suit. <laughs> and then all you gonna see is his little bite sized ass falling off the side of a building and, and shit like. And his, and his purpose it's gonna have. His purpose would have been served. Like he told us, hey, nigga, they, they coming. But yeah. the guy that I'm talking about can actually fight. I wish y'all two motherfuckers. That little guy, get his little ass. Right. That little like motherfucker said, was breaking necks back in. He looks like he stinks bad. Like you would leave. You wouldn't want to fight. Like I'm cool. I wouldn't have no choice. He was in the crew. <sighs> uh, now I got to get myself together, man, because y'all two niggas suck. <laughs> Calling my motherfucking Clint Eastwood, y'all. I like y'all niggas Clint get Eastwood, enough of that shit. Phil, he was a great actor, but that was it. But like, y'all gonna give me the ninety-six-year-old version of it? <laughs> like that man can do nothing right now to help me out in any type of. He can't change a tire. He can't walk a mile and a half to go get help. He can do nothing but fucking be a liability. That motherfucker was gonna be a liability. Either no, he way, wasn't. What the fuck? Way. He got the three fifty-seven Magnum. Like he, he's the only one with that. He it, well, in the eighties he was. No, he was. This no. isn't now. This is as back soon, then. Listen, as soon as people saw that shit on the on the screen, they went and got one too. <sighs> That's fucked up, man. That y'all's even doing That's that. The truth, shit. though, like he he introduced that gun, and then everybody went and got one. So you're, what you're saying is everybody's showing up with 357. So, that yeah, doesn't, so make him, it doesn't make him special. That's all I'm saying. That's like, fucked up. You're I mean, taking like, a specialness if, if, away from my guy. I'm just saying, if if we were going to show up to a fight with the, the three people we said, Clint Eastwood and Charles Bronson are getting their wigs split. Man, them Period. motherfuckers was the best shooters in the 80s. There was nobody fucking with them. Nah. That's and on hard. top of that, dude got shaky, Mr. T. I'm talking about that drink. <laughs> that drinks his drink like this. I got, I got commercial, Mr. T. <laughs> I'm talking about, you want to save some money on your house? <laughs> <laughs> Go to the general. You want to save some, some money on your car? The general's right there. The general be like, you want to come with Mr. me and Mr. T and get touched? Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, well, listen, man, listen, fellas, we'll just agree to disagree because I know for a fact I picked three badass motherfuckers with that little guy. They're bad coming on the film. They're so bad are yours. No, you got no. many of these little cry. I mean, like, that, little you said pick a small ass. person. That, that's no, y'all just picked a small person listen. biting off me because no. I got a badass. He, he said, he said. Dudes uh, was all right for this tattoo. He, what tattoo did he do? Was a, he, he, he didn't was have a, to do he was shit. A servant. <laughs> tattoo was a fucking servant. He wasn't doing shit, but getting your laundry and making appointments. Listen, tattoo was walking by looking under all the motherfucking pretty because everybody wore a dress back then. Save that shit, nigga. Save that. That's shit. crazy. You gonna right. call tattoo a servant? And then you had the stinking dude from Penitentiary Three, which I've you never get, even heard. You of. have a turncoat. That motherfucker's gonna switch sides on you and, and, hey, and get you. Well, and what's I mean, your I'm new friend? What you do? Because I already know he's shifty. Many me would have cut both of y'all right, from bro. neck to nuts. <laughs> Listen, he wouldn't have been able to reach our necks, but he'd have definitely been able to get like from belly button to nuts. Because he was like two foot five. Listen, 
So yeah. rest in peace, but, mini me. You know what I mean? I'm running the show. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm about to, he, he gets the, the old drunk Vern Troyer. Yeah, he, oh, well. oh, well. <laughs> he gets oh, the four star Vern Troyer. He gets the one that made that sex tape. <laughs> Door the sex tape, but they come in guns blazing. So he's vulnerable as fuck because he just got that fucking. Listen, he's, yeah. he's a decoy, and then I'ma have that, Jackson. That's who Steve. Jackson Jackson. Niggas, you biting off my shit. I'ma have, have Steven Seagal coming through with oh that shit. God. That God. They're gonna shit. grip that ponytail and punch him. As soon as they do, my fucking Charles Bronson and Clint sleep. Eastwood is reaching. And like they're this gonna here. crack up like this motherfucker like trying to shoot. Well, listen, we'll agree to disagree. What y'all think at home? Who do y'all think got the best lineup for badasses back in the 80s? Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. Axon Jackson and Ivan Drago. Ain't nobody Ivan Drago fucking had his wife walk out on him and his fucking son hates him. Oh, well. Ivan Drago's a piece of shit. That's movies. (laughs) Ivan Drago, Ivan Drago's a piece of shit. He's a fucking slime ball. (laughs) Nobody likes him. And then the motherfucker was talking shit after Rocky beat his ass. (laughs) Crying with tears of blood down his face after Rocky gave it to him. He killed Apollo Creed. He went back to Russia unrespected. He went back to. He's the reason why we have. Can I I say this? Can I say this? Go ahead. All he did was took an amazing boxer from him and, and a little bit out of his prime and, and went back to Russia as a losing murderer. <laughs> that motherfucker killed a great fucking fighter, <laughs> lost to fucking Rocky's little ass, and went back as a murderer. <laughs> had he won, had he won, and then Rocky beat him in front of his own people. But had he won, then he would have been praised and fucking thrown up and fucking celebrated for days to come. Listen. But he went back home a fucking penniless, who, who bitchless this, murderer. A commie y'all, bastard. <laughs> That's y'all all he know did. Who won this argument? Please tell these two that they <laughs> lost. Like, let's vote. I don't know why he's let's laughing. Let's vote. Let, oh, he, he's bottom of the barrel. My squad is, is he, kicking y'all He's head. bottom got, of the barrel. Okay, got, let's got, dive into your squad. Arnold? Come on, Arnold. You got, got any arsenal. Weak. You got, like I said, Danny DeVito, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> fucking, you got the twins. You got I twins. Got, I got Predator Arnold, man. Right? And then you got Kindergarten Cop. Hey, like, let, let me, mind, we, let we me remind y'all that uh, Action Jackson was in the Predator, too, wasn't he? He was. And he was the shit. But, you but got he Chubbs. was also Chubbs. Oh, shit. He was also Chubbs Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> but when he was up here wiggling and shit like this here and shit. Like, it's all in the hips. Hell yeah. It's so there's, all in the listen, hips. Listen, there's a version of Carl Weathers that played all these badasses, but you ain't getting him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got I'm Chubbs. Like, nah. You got Chubbs <laughs> Peterson, just like this motherfucker has the older Mr. T and, you got, and kindergarten cop Arnold Schwarzenegger. And you got Torino Drive or whatever that <laughs> movie is. He was still a badass in it. No, he, yeah, he was just like, angry ass. And he was, he was racist. He was, 90. he was 90. He was 90 and racist. Beat it, spook. <laughs> But I mean, I respected it. I was like, "Oh shit, that motherfucker's ninety, and he got a gun under his seat, and he's racist, and he's racist against Asians and blacks and Puerto Ricans. Anybody that's not else. white, he right. don't even like your whole squad. He might turn on you. Yo, he, he's definitely gonna turn. Man. So wait, gonna so now this is about Clint Eastwood turning on me and shit. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> it's gonna be through the shootout. Like <laughs> I should shoot your black ass. <laughs> he's killing you first and shit. <laughs> He's the reason why we're in this mess. And then he he convinces Charles Bronson to fucking. And then I got, you know what I mean? I got Bolo and Mr. T to clean the rest of y'all niggas up. And then here's the thing. Bolo never fought Bruce Lee, so we don't even know if he's certified. No, we and Mr. Bolo T beat Van Damme's I mean, Bruce Lee. Five, seven. At best. At best. With heels like, on. Yeah. He had to have a pair of stilettos on to be five, right. seven. He used to fight people in, in Everlast shoes. And, and in the shit. Evergreen. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Going down to Evergreen, starting fights and shit, just because he was missing. Hey, team. you bitch! <laughs> Talking to the fucking bar. Give me some ass. Shit. <laughs> How'd he say it? Hey, you bitch! Give me some ass. <laughs> Give it to me now. <laughs> I swear, I got but, a cousin that looks like Mr. T in the face. Let's let's wrap this let's wrap this part up, man. Because y'all <laughs> niggas is stupid as hell. No y'all doubt, silly as shit. That's y'all. Especially you over there with tattoo on. Whatever, man. With tat- I told to you, I changed on. it to the look to Queen. 
Shit, I'm getting him a text to my body. Getting so he's sick, nigga. Yeah. Getting surgery. Yeah, like that nigga was sick. I'm getting him put. I'm getting him put right here. Dude was gonna be. Dude he, was got gonna all, be he got all the juice though. He, he, I got gonna, all the Mars on my squad. He's gonna be that little dude's host. <laughs> that little dude is using Doob as a host. He's taking, he's taking all Doob's nutrients and shit. <laughs> Dude was <laughs> over there all gray and shit not speaking like I don't got no vitamin, I don't got no more vitamin D. He took all dudes fucking bojo and shit. Dude's just over there. He's gonna be in a, a baby coma fucking with that dude. Like. Dude is gray as fuck looking down on the ground like Listen, but we got all the Mars juice. And that dude's over here like I took your friend's body <laughs> over. I mean that dude's strong as an ox. He got he has a plan of getting cut out of dudes after after he he sponges all of dudes. Notice that he has a plan to get dude cut out of his own cell. He's gonna get like the upper half of dude removed so he can take his extremities. And he's gonna it's me. Uh, he's gonna be calling me and you and shit like a wax. Come get me. Where's Illy? Driving dudes with the shit. He gonna have dudes shoulders with the windows tinted. We gonna be oh, Ooey, what up? And then it's gonna be him. He's gonna hold the window down. He's gonna, he's gonna be old boy like. <laughs> he's gonna be. <laughs> he's gonna be doing trigger figures at us and shit like. <laughs> like. Yeah. Y'all niggas is a wild man. Uh, you know what I'm saying, but was, I got the best lineup. I'm, that's all I'm saying. Man, your lineup but, is a fucking joke. Probably, but they're beating yours. Your lineup is a they're joke. They're yours. My dude, listen. Everybody knows my squad is a, a whole bunch of shooters. <clears throat> Fuck a shooter. I got, I got all shooters. So we'll agree to disagree, and we'll come back to it next week. So, fellas, that's it. We came, we saw, we delivered. Now. We gonna come back next week, same location, right. same time, mm -hmm. different material. Yes, sir. Peace, Mr. T forever. See here, you go trying to end y'all hurry up and vote. Let these niggas know they <laughs> lost. Let them know they lost. See him, Mr. T forever. Don't be vote for me, bro. <laughs> I pity everybody, but I don't pity the fool, and you a fool. <laughs> I'm 92 years old. <laughs> <laughs>